Hello everyone and welcome to the Doom 3 Level Design VTM Series, brought to you by 3dbuzz.com. My name is Jason Busby, also known simply as Buzz, and joining me we've got Mr. Logan Frank, also known as Jayhawk. Logan, how's it going today? Going good. Alright, now Logan's going to be working with me on this series here. As a matter of fact, Logan is going to be the driver of the editor. He's going to be the guy actually running the mouse. Now. The series is going to focus on how to create levels for the Doom 3 engine. And it's going to start out simple, of course. We've got to introduce you to the editor, which does indeed come with Doom 3. You know, show you how to get around, what part of the editor is what, and then how to make very, very basic levels, you know, like a room. And then going from a room to adding textures to lights to actually seeing the player in the room and then using the room or the level that you've just created in the game itself. Now, we'll be taking a look at all of these things and we'll do them over a series of different video modules that we'll be releasing one after another. And as we complete them, we will make them available to the public. Now, let's go ahead and spend just a second talking about the editor. Logan, anybody that's worked with any of the id software games, or at least the more recent ones, kind of like Quake 3, I guess you could say, should be in pretty good shape with Doom, right? Right, because, I mean, the main editing tool, Radiant, is still what you use. Doom Edit, also known as Doom Radiant, is Doom 3's editor. That's right, and for those of you that have worked with like Quake 3 before, what you're looking at right now is going to look very familiar, so you should be able to jump in there and start manipulating things pretty quickly, and, and that's a good thing. Now, of course, from the point of view that we're designing these VTMs, we're starting out for the beginner. And the idea is to work our way up. So you may want to skip a couple of these series, maybe, maybe not. It's all up to you. But um, so anyways, we just wanted to take a second and point that out. In the next lesson that's coming after the intro here, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on loading Doom Edit. How do we get the editor up along with a few different uh, properties that we can set or options, if you will, that will help the whole process of bringing the editor up. Now, We've got a level loaded here. As a matter of fact, Logan, they may find this uh, level a little familiar if we were to jump into game. And uh, it happens to be the, the very first one you see when you play Doom 3 itself, you know, as the game. And um, if you remember, when you play the game, you get dropped off at the very beginning. You're this new marine that's come to the base. And after you're getting dropped off, you basically have to walk from this external landing pad area into the building where you're going to get bioscanned and all that stuff. And along the way, you pass a character who's going to point that way. He's going to tell you which way you need to go. And we've got that loaded up right now in the editor just to kind of give you guys a feel of, you know, what it is we're taking a look at. So if you want to, go ahead and show them in the cam view this uh, character that we're talking about. Well, this uh, red... Mo model-looking entity is that character, the guy who's standing by all those crates and points you in the right direction. Right. So um, let's go ahead real quick, before we do anything with him, let's just jump into the game. Now, what's really cool about working with Doom 3, uh, granted, you must have a lot of memory to do this, so it's really cool if you have lots of memory. If you don't have lots of memory, well, it's not really cool. That would but be a good time to go buy now, some. Now, it would be a very good time to go buy some if you are serious about level design with Doom 3. But the cool thing is that the game is actually loaded right now, or the engine's loaded. Correct, Logan? That's right. And uh, so, go ahead. As a matter of fact, to switch over to the game, we simply hit F2, which runs the Show Doom command. Boy, that's pretty quick. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, take this map that we've got set aside and run it real quick. So we've got this just as Mars test at the moment. So we just simply type map space Mars test to tell it to load a given map. Now this of course was Mars City 1, but we've extracted it out of the pack file, which is stuff we'll be talking about later, and rebuilt it so that we can just kind of mess around with it and you know, not have to worry about affecting the game. Now of course, the, the movie starts up with a matinee sequence, so it's going to play through your ship coming in for a landing and all that. But let's go ahead and hit escape and jump into the game itself. So here you are, and the ship's just dropped you off, and, and there's, there's that character. Welcome to Mars. He, He's standing there, and he's going to tell you to go that way. And what we want to do is let's edit him. Let's stand him on top of the crates, because that would be kind of funny. Okay, to jump back over to Radiant, all I need to do is type quit. This hasn't actually exited Doom 3. It's simply thrown the game itself to the background, and we're back into Radiant. Now, while Logan's going to, while he's going to move this character on top of the crates over there, we're not trying to teach you anything whatsoever right now. The idea is we're just talking about what the VTM series is all about. It's about editing... Doom 3 files, or, or actually creating your own, if you will, for the game engine. And so we're just manipulating something. We're just giving a second to talks. And we want to do something funny anyways. So there we go. We've got a character that's standing up on top of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and um, fire that off there. So we'll save the map so that loads the, cr uh, the map with these changes. F2 to jump back into the game, and I'll simply hit up twice in the console and re-execute map Mars test. And as soon as it comes in, of course, he'll just go ahead and escape. 
after it finishes loading. And let's just see if the guy's standing up on top of the create crates. And here we go. And there he is. And there he is, now standing on top. Of course, his uh, scripted sequence still works. Yes, he's going to tell you which way to go. He just looks kind of funny standing up there. So, you know, the idea of the video, or all of all the videos that we're going to be creating in this video series, is going to be how to go about generating the architecture, like what you're seeing here, how we can go about creating, um, or basically adding lights, texturing, all the different things involved in creating levels. Now, Logan, go ahead and jump out of that real quick. Now, one thing that we're not going to be doing is taking a look at how to develop static models. We will do that in a different VTM series for Doom 3, along with scripting and some other things. Uh, again, this video series is focusing only on how to go about generating levels for Doom 3. Okay? So with that, Logan, I say it's time to get started. Let's do it. <laughs> 